the formal round of talks. The Naga peace talks resumed in New Delhi today. The nine-member NSCNIM delegation was led by NSCNIM General Secretary Twingaleng Muiva. And from the government of India, uh, the interlocutor A.K. Mishra led the talks and there were senior officials from the Union Home Ministry as well as the Intelligence Bureau. Now, in this round of talks, this was a serious round of discussions that has taken place after a very long time that was attended by the NSCNIM Supremo Mr. Twingaleng Muiva. The discussions were, were held on the core issue. Uh, the NSCNIM calls the core issue to be that of its demand of a separate flag and constitution. In fact, these two issues, which the NSCNIM describes as their core issues, has been holding up uh, any progress to the Naga peace talks. Uh, now, today, this discussion had taken place on the core issues, on the NSCNIM's demand for a flag and constitution. Now, according to sources, uh, uh, we in according to sources, they are saying us that the two sides discussed on how to respect and accommodate each other's right and interest pertaining to users of the flag. Now, how to respect and accommodate each other's right rights and interest pertaining to users of the flag. Now, now. If these sources are to be believed, then this is a clear indication that the government of India is willing to allow the Nagas use of their traditional flag. As we have been reporting in the last couple of days, viewers, uh, the government of India had earlier agreed to allow the Nagas the use of their traditional flag, but only for cultural purposes. Now, this time round, uh, what exactly has been discussed? What exactly were the agreed points, if at all? We don't know. But but uh, what, when sources told us that discussions were held on how to respect and accommodate each other's right and interest pertaining to the uses of the flag. Now this means that there could be, an, there could be some kind of a uh, narrowing down of differences as to the use of uh, the Naga flag. Now the government of India says that the Nagas will be uh, had said earlier. Uh, let me clarify that the Nagas would be able to use their traditional flag for all practical purposes in their cultural festivities, uh, but it will not be allowed to fly alongside the tricolor or the Indian national flag. Now whether it whether uh, respecting each other's rights means this only, we don't know. Uh, it could well mean this actually that the national flag on national occasions it will only and only be the national flag and on all other uh, uh, festivals and cultural activities it, they, the Nagas will be free to fly the traditional uh, flag that of course will 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 will, will be known uh, when things uh, immerse uh, later in details uh, as, as to what this discussion ensued today uh, now again we have also come to know that, that there will be another round of discussions uh, day after tomorrow that is on the 25th of August again uh, the NSCNIM delegation will be led by Mr. Twinga Lang and the government of India delegation, of course, will be led by the interlocutor, Mr. A.K. Mishra. Uh, now, the government of India had said uh, categorically, sources have told Notice Live uh, in the last few days, uh, that once this round of discussions uh, are, is able to narrow the differences, narrow the differences relating to the NSNIM's demand for a core issue, the talks can be elevated to the next level, that is, to a political level, where Union Home Minister Amit Shah could well participate in the dialogue and take it forward until it stays where uh, the two sides are ready to sign on the dotted lines uh, that will bring about an agreement to the Naga peace talks. Now, we are talking about the NSC and let's, let's talk about the NNPG. The NNPG has said that discussions are over, long over actually, and they are ready to sign on the dotted lines as on the basis of their agreed position. So NNPGs are okay with whatever has been discussed earlier, but NSC and I was stuck with their core demand of a flag and constitution for the Nagas. In fact, a year ago, uh, 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 in, in fact, in May, actually, if I'm not mistaken, the NSC and I'm uh, uh, emergency national assembly that was held at, uh, in, in, in Camp Hebron, where 2,000 people attended, 2,000 NSC and cadres and leaders attended, they had come up with a resolution saying that they are not going to sign on the dotted lines unless their core demand of a flag and constitution are considered by the government of India. Uh, after that, there was a near deadlock. And then, of course, uh, Mr. V. S. Atem had three rounds of negotiations with the central uh, centrist interlocutor, along with some other senior leaders of the outfit. After that, uh, it is 
after a long break that Mr. Twinga Langwiva is attending the talks that were held at 11.30 in the morning today in New Delhi and, uh, and, and uh, discussed the core issues and, and as we have been reporting, the, the discussions were on how to respect and accommodate each other's interest pertaining to users of the flag. This has triggered a speculation whether the government of India has finally agreed to concede the Naga's demand for a separate flag. We will then, and then, of course, the breaking news also is that the next round of talks between the NSC and IM and the government of India will be held on the 25th of August. Ronak. Right, absolutely. So was we considering the fact that the talks held today were very serious talks that were held. They were not informal talks and the talks focused on the core issues that the NSA and IIM has been saying. So, you know, keeping that in mind and also keeping in mind the fact that again, the second round of talks are scheduled for day after tomorrow. There seems to be some substantial headway and progress that is being made and we can say that that is a positive sign, isn't it? You are right, Ronak. Absolutely. Uh, unless there was some progress made today or today the talks may have been inconclusive we don't know uh, much on the details uh, but yes uh, that is the reason why the next round of talks will be held uh, uh, without much of a break that is the held talks were held today and the next round of talks will be held day after tomorrow that is on the 25th of August and that will also be attended by Mr. Twingala Nguiva and 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 so we can safely say that some kind of forward movement has been definitely there as far as the Naga peace talks are concerned. But we will not speculate at this point in time. We'll wait and watch as to how things in unfold and, and whether this is the beginning of the end to the beginning of the end to the long-standing Naga political problem or for that matter the more than seven decade old Naga problem. We'll wait and watch. Absolutely. So is this indeed the beginning of the end of the long pending Naga political issue? We will wait and watch. For now, our editor-in-chief, Wazmir Sen, thank you very much for joining us and bringing us all of those latest updates. देशर प्रति घरे मोर पर आज मोर प्रतिज्ञा हल प्रति घर एश शता 